Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on a piece of gaming memorabilia that's just honestly really cool. The Twitter account The Art of Nintendo Power often shows old scans of Nintendo Power magazine as well as other stuff from Nintendo. And the thing it shared today is something that's kind of one of a kind. It's a hand-drawn Super Metroid map created by one of the game's developers, and it served as an invaluable guide for Nintendo's gameplay counselors that they weren't actually supposed to use. Now this was mainly used back when Super Metroid came out in 1994 and of course we didn't have all the online guides and whatnot that we have today, so instead there was a 1-900 number that kids could call and try to get tips to get past things that they were stuck on. And considering how Super Metroid is laid out, that can be pretty tricky to guide somebody to what they need to do or where they need to go just over the phone, so the map ended up being really useful. However, they technically weren't allowed to use it. According to Art of Nintendo Power, the map was drawn by a Japanese developer and back then Nintendo couldn't say for sure that there were no differences between the Japanese and US releases. Nintendo was afraid the counselors would use this map and give players bad information, so they really weren't supposed to view it. But instead, the counselors would sneak copies of the map into the backs of their information binders and they would whip them out when nobody was looking. It really was just that useful back in the day. And there's fun little things about the map itself, including drawings of Samus's ship and bosses like Kraid. And in addition to that, another Twitter user by the name of Vernari Kanto actually spotted a room that's not in the final version of Super Metroid. It's something extra that I guess got cut before the game's release. So it really is just a cool time capsule of what people had to work with back in 1994 when the game was new and you had to give tips in some way. So yeah, just a really cool piece of history and I'm curious what you guys think about it. Let us know in the comments and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Metroid and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.